we will always continually have to adapt. And I think we'll have to think about how we learn, how we adapt to new trends, um, the big questions of the world around us. And I think that's also what makes my work so exciting. I'm Jean Guo. Um, I'm the founder and executive director at Connexio. Uh, and my role is uh, to work with vulnerable populations and upskill them uh, through digital skills training to prepare them for the future of work. So I was born in China and um, I came to the U.S. at the age of five, um, Los Angeles area, with my parents. And I think I picked up the language very quickly since I was so young, but I saw the struggles especially of my mother because she didn't speak the language, she didn't have a professional network. Um, and so I started at an early age becoming um, you know, self-sufficient and helping her, uh, given that, for example, she was afraid to pick up the phone because she didn't understand what was said on the other end. And I think that also developed this culture of being adaptable, um, um, you know, learning um, and also being resourceful at an early age. When I was in high school period, that's the period where you, you know, try and figure out where you want to apply for college, I think I didn't probably have the self-confidence in myself to apply for the best schools. And so I think if I didn't have the right mentors, the right, uh, you know, teachers, and also my mom who really pushed me, um, I wouldn't have gotten to go to Stanford University. I studied two majors, uh, human biology and economics. My first job was uh, working as an analyst in a consulting group. I then um, got a Fulbright scholarship uh, to come to France. I was working at the Paris School of Economics on topics of uh, health economics and also the integration of vulnerable populations. So in the beginning, um, uh, it was not really part of my plan when I arrived, uh, you know, doing the research, I think just a few months in to start something. Um, but because I heard these stories of um, individuals telling me that I'm here, but I don't feel I'm part of the community and it's been months, it's been years, um, I thought maybe I could try and do something. So I went at the time and um, there are these uh, computer spaces uh, in Paris that uh, are for individuals who might not have computers. Uh, and so I went to 15 of them to ask if they could host uh, you know, a class that I wanted to build for this uh, student group. Uh, 14 of them turned me down uh, and I got one to you know, be excited to host us for free. That's how Connect Save started. It was uh, one classroom, uh, one small group of students. I recruited a small group of volunteers, um, and that was, you know, the first uh, cohort uh, in 2016 that I launched. I always say that there's like two kinds of entrepreneurs: those who um, always wanted to be one and then find the idea, and then those who uh, find the problem that they really want to solve and they try to build a solution around it. And I think I'm in the second category, where I think I found a huge problem uh, that I really wanted to solve, which led me to create Connexio. Adaptability is something that's going to be a constant in our lives uh, because of the fact that when I look at you know where we are in the space of skills, um, the skills today might not be the skills of tomorrow. And we know that, for example, by 2030, there are jobs that will be required that we don't even know what they are today. And so it's how do you even prepare with this amount of uncertainty for jobs that don't exist yet. Part of something that will be more important is also thinking about how to learn to learn, how to learn to pick up new skills. There's never maybe a moment you will feel completely ready and that's perfectly okay. For a few years, I was a figure skater. What it taught me, when you fall, you get back up. Uh, you know, you learn how to pick yourself up. Uh, and I think that's maybe a thing that, you know, it helps you so also to build resilience and grit in life. There were so many things that were hard in the beginning because my French was not perfect. People would make fun of me when I gave presentations in French in front of me in the room. There was a lot of times I had to justify why me, why you know I was uh, legitimate in terms of my skills to be able to run this. You know, you learn from those moments, but I think for me, how I took, for example, that was okay. I think I could improve my uh, pitch. I can improve how I talk about Connexio, and I will use it um, you know, as fuel to add to the fire to be even better. We're kind of the, uh, our own agents in our lives, and I believe firmly in the fact that you have the power to do you know, something and change a lot of what you want. And so I think for me, it's being able to take action every single day. And I think happiness is not maybe a passive act. It's something that you actively should strive towards, you should work towards uh, to you know, be richer and more fulfilled. Mm -hmm.